Hey, this is Ryan. I'm going to show you really quickly how to get a new Drop Wizard service up and running using uh, nothing more than IntelliJ and a little bit of knowledge on how Drop Wizard itself works. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to open up IntelliJ. Uh, if you don't have IntelliJ, go to the JetBrains website and get yourself a copy of Community Edition. Uh, it's free and has everything that you need. If you want, later on you can splurge the $200 for a personal license for Ultimate, uh, but Community is sufficient to get started. So we're going to start by creating a new project. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that you have Maven module selected. Once you have that, go ahead and give it a project name. Call it Drop Wizard Demo. This is going to create the directory. I'm going to tell it I want the 1.7 SDK. Uh, it's then going to ask you for a group ID. Um, Yammer uh, Drop Wizard Demo. I personally like to start with a 0.0.1 snapshot. Doesn't really matter uh, as your version. Uh, you can see there's some archetype support here. We've tried building archetypes in the past. Uh, they are really, really hard to do. They're hard to do well. They're a pain. Um, and doing this inside of IntelliJ really takes no time at all. You click Finish, and Maven's going to go ahead, or excuse me, Drop Wizard IntelliJ is going to go ahead and set up a basic project structure for you. Uh, you're going to have all your basic directories are here. Uh, your POM is here. This is where you're going to get started. Uh, with all Maven projects, you're going to have dependencies. So we're just going to go ahead and start there. Um, and I'll go ahead and tell it that I want to auto import all of the POM changes. Uh, Maven has, or IntelliJ has, some really nice smart template support. Uh, in this case, it has smart template support for dependencies inside of Maven uh, POM files. So I can just type in DEP and then tab, and it's going to fill in the scaffolding for me. Uh, and then at this point, it'll tell me which artifacts it knows about. And I'll just type typing in Drop Wizard, and I can select Core. And it knows Drop Wizard Core is part of Comium or Drop Wizard. And at this point, it also knows that certain versions are available to me. Um, this tends to be mostly based on what you actually have in your local Maven repo. Uh, IntelliJ is a little bit brain dead when it comes to actually going out to Maven repos to scan for versions. But we'll tell it we want 0.6.2. Uh, and you can see it really quickly pulled in the dependencies, and it's all ready to go now. So go ahead and close the POM file. And now we're going to create a new Java class over here. Com Yammer Drop Wizard Demo dot sample service. So this will create a new sample service. Get rid of the boilerplate there. Sample service, it's a drop wizard service, so it needs to extend service. We want the drop wizard service, not the other services. And service itself is templatized, so we're going to want a sample configuration. Uh, sample configuration doesn't exist, so it highlights red. Uh, one nice thing in IntelliJ is it has sort of uh, fix it for me type dialogues. If you press, at least in my key bindings, it's option enter. It'll bring up this nice menu of options here. In this case, it sees that the class doesn't exist and gives me the option to create it as an interface, an enum, or what I want, which is actually a class. And ask me what package I want it to go in, that's fine. More boilerplate to nuke. Uh, and at this point, we know it's drop wizard, so you want to extend configuration. And we'll select the drop wizard configuration. Uh, most services will have additional configuration here. Uh, for the purposes of a sample, it's sufficient just to extend the base configuration. Uh, you see it's still complaining about some stuff here, so we can option enter again and tell it that we want to implement methods. Basically, it's detecting uh, some abstract methods and service that haven't been implemented yet, so we'll go ahead and add those and initialize and run or what we'll have to implement. Take out some more boilerplate here. Uh, the boilerplate's coming from IntelliJ. If you want, you can dig in and change the templates for what actually gets dumped into there. I don't bother. Um, we can once again use another smart template uh, in IntelliJ, PSVM, which is shorthand for public static void main. Uh, if I type that in and hit tab, it'll automatically fill in a main method for me. And so we'll say new sample service dot run args. Uh, I'm running through the drop wizard stuff a little bit quickly because I'm hoping that people will mostly have either built services or will have at least looked at the quick start documentation uh, that Coda put together on dropwizard.codahale.com. Uh, in this case, uh, it's still complaining about an exception that's being thrown. Uh, so option enter again, add exception to method signature. And now there's no more complaints. Uh, at this point, we're going to need a sample uh, configuration file for this. So we're going to say sample.yaml. Put this in the top level directory. The only thing you need to get started is just the HTTP port configuration. 
So we'll put the HTTP on 8080 and the admin port on 8081 and close that. Now one other nice thing in uh, IntelliJ is I can go to the service class over here in the project view. I can right click on it and select create sample service main. And I can tell it the program arguments are server sample.yaml. And that'll tell it that those are the command line parameters to pass to it when it runs. And when I do this, it'll actually create a run profile at the top for me. And I can either run it or I can debug it. Uh, I always like to run stuff in the debugger. Uh, inevitably, I'm going to want to debug. So we'll go ahead and click run. Uh, it's going to compile and then it'll start running. Uh, and we'll get, there's a stack trace here. It's complaining that there's no root resource that's been created. So let's create one really quickly. We'll say over here, environment.add resource new hello world resource. Uh, the class doesn't exist, so option enter again, create class hello world resource. I like to put it in the resources package. It's just me. So that gets created over here, and of course it's a JAXRS resource, so we're going to give it a path. Greetings name. And we're going to add a method to handle the get methods. Public string get greeting. Uh, path param name string name. I'm just going to return hello if I can type. And give an exclamation point because we're really happy to see this person. Now that all gets cleared up. Now one nice thing in IntelliJ is there's just this little recycle button here or rerun. Uh, you can click that, it'll recompile and rerun. You don't have to click stop and then run. It saves you an extra second or two. Uh, and now you can see we actually have the resource. And so we'll jump over to the browser and we'll go to localhost 8080. Greetings, Ryan. And we get back, hello, Ryan. And if we want, we can jump back over to Drop Wizard. We can go to the resource, and I can set a breakpoint right here in this method. Go back to the browser, reload, and it'll automatically pop the browser open. It's at the breakpoint. You can see we have the resource, we have the incoming parameter. Over here, you can see the entire call stack. And if I want, I can actually jump up the call stack to see what was going on at each one of these points. You can see all the local variables. I can mess with things. Or if I want, I can just come back up to the top here, and I can click Run to step through it. And the value comes back again. Uh, and that's it. That's a running Drop Wizard application in a few minutes. Uh, I'll prove to you really quickly that it's a, really a uh, Maven project, uh, CD Drop Wizard demo. Uh, I see all my project files are in here. There's the palm, and I can run Maven, clean, compile. Uh, and there you go. Uh, you'll need to add in all the stuff for doing your builds, including resources and stuff like that. Um, but that should be fairly trivial to follow along from another example.